Welcome back to another one of these TV show collection videos. Tis the season to be scary, so today we're going to take a look at our collection for Tales from the Crypt. Starting off with our Laserdisc release here. There are a whole bunch of different Laserdisc releases in Japan for the series, as well as the two movies, uh, Demon Knight and Bordello of Blood. And I picked this one because it is a collection of three really solid episodes. In fact, some of my favorites in the entire series, mostly from my favorite season of the show. It has Dead Weight with John Reese davies and Whoopi Goldberg and Vanity. It has Top Billing and Easel Kill Ya, which is one of the most disturbing and fascinating episodes of the entire show. So three episodes that I enjoy all amongst my favorites in the entire show in one volume. So I thought that was pretty cool to grab on Laserdisc and just having a volume of the show on Laserdisc is really badass in itself. And Tales from the, from the Crypt was always a show that I enjoyed because I like anthology series. I like things like The Twilight Zone, uh, Outer Limits, Night Gallery, all that kind of stuff. Fantastic. And this really differentiated itself from a lot of those in the same way that the original comics that they're based off of did with their sense of humor. There's a certain style to it and a certain sense of humor that really made it something different. And this was elevated in the show by the Crypt Keeper character and the way he was presented with the goofy puns and everything that added a little bit of a different flavor to it. And some of the tales were a little more out there and wacky uh, occasionally rather than just downright horrifying. And one of the best examples of that for me is the first season on DVD, which has, I think, one of the most bizarre collections of tales in the show. Uh, really a few that are just completely out there, and it's just fascinating and a really good start to the series. And one of the benefits of having the you know actual collections, having the physical media, are the special features. And this one in particular, because it's a very short season, you only have basically a disc worth of episodes, because there are only six in this season. All really good tales, though, that stand out. So it's a solid season, even though it's only six and you know one disc long. And the second disc are all the special features. And these are awesome because the because these special features include a Crypt Keeper's History of Season 1, which is pretty interesting if you enjoyed the episodes in Season 1. But the real gem is Tales from the Crypt, from comic books to television. It is a fantastic, lengthy documentary talking about the history of horror comics and the evolution of those into what would eventually become EC Comics and Tales from the Crypt and all of that and it goes really in depth and is a fascinating look at that and even includes some discussions with people that were influenced by those including you know for big fans of the 90s or people who grew up in the 90s R.L. Stein is a featured in this quite a few times talking about the influence these had on him making his kind of children's book versions of a lot of these ideas. And the show I think kicked it up a notch both in its creativity and of course in the number of episodes going up to I think 18 or so with season two. Another fantastic DVD box set, great series and more special features. Great collection of episodes, really good ones in there. Season 2 is fantastic. And then my favorite season overall from the entire show would be Season 3. Uh, this one, for me, just has the greatest overall collection of episodes. The entire show is great, but there's something about Season 3 that I always found to be the most fascinating. Uh, a few of my favorites are in there. And that's what we have for Tales from the Crypt. Uh, it's all been released on DVD individually, and there's been, a, uh, I think, two different versions of the Complete Series box set and all that stuff, so if you really enjoy it. But like with a lot of anthology series, I usually just want a handful of favorite seasons with some favorite tales. I probably wouldn't rewatch the whole thing from beginning to end. And uh, from what I recall as well, it just 
didn't have quite the same level of quality in some of the later seasons from what I've seen. And the two movies were mm, not so great. Uh, Bordello of Blood, I remember being funny, but more in a uh, so bad it's funny, not really a rewatch kind of thing. I think a friend of mine had it on VHS or whatever when we watched that. So yeah, that is our collection for Tales from the Crypt. Fantastic show. If you've never seen it and you like these kind of horror anthology series, check it out because it adds some goofy fun to the genre. And at the same time, there are some episodes that are genuinely creepy and, and scary. There are a couple here that really kind of pushed the envelope for what you could do at TV on, uh, you know, during the era that it came out. It really was so much more that they got away with. Especially being, I think it was, what was it, HBO it was originally on? I'm trying to remember. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely something a little different, a little more out there. And it's a great combination of very, very different types of stories and styles. And what that's what keeps it fascinating is that it's not this, never the same thing over and over again. You're always going to get something a little different from a different writer, a different director, different presentation. And it's just a great collection of fun short tales.